turning right on the grand. I'm not pursuing him. Hamilton police officer Ray Nickting denied it, but his own dash camera recording showed Nickting was still pursuing a suspect. Never mind. A Hamilton Police Department internal investigation determined Nickting drove erratically and up to 82 miles an hour on city streets while he claimed he wasn't pursuing. Outbound on Route 4. Hamilton Police Lieutenant Michael Waldeck concluded Nickting provided false information to the police department several times and didn't tell the truth until two weeks after the pursuit, after Nickting knew the incident was under investigation. For violating the pursuit policy and being untruthful, the police department gave Nickting a written reprimand. Quite frankly, I don't think the public has a lot of interest in this. When the I-Team interviewed Hamilton Police Chief Craig Buchheit in October, he said we were wrong to focus on the case and that he considered the matter closed. This officer was wrong. Um, he admitted that he was wrong. And he was disciplined appropriately and accordingly. And we moved on. But there was one move Chief Buchheit didn't make. He never told the Butler County Prosecutor's Office that his department determined one of its own officers had been dishonest on the job. It's something that I should know about and I should be able to inquire about it. Prosecutor Mike Moser learned about Nickting's dishonesty and other cases of untruthful police officers in Butler County from the Nine on Your Side I-Team. How do you feel about that? Well, I don't like that. I don't like that. A half century ago, in the case of Brady versus Maryland, the Supreme Court ruled that prosecutors are required to disclose information that may hurt their own cases because it's in the interest of justice. That means Moser and other prosecutors must tell the defense if key witnesses, including police officers, have a record of dishonesty. Do you think you've done enough to find Brady material? No, absolutely not. Why not? Well, simply because I felt that I was doing everything that was necessary at the time, and I didn't have any issues with any of the cases at that time. Moser, who has been the Butler County prosecutor since 2011, admits he hadn't asked police chiefs or the sheriff to refer possible Brady cases involving police misconduct to his office. Why didn't you ask for this information earlier? Well... Because I have a community of police officers that I know and trust. If that information is not given to the prosecutor and the prosecutor doesn't ask for it, and that information isn't provided to the defense, you are basically hamstringing a person's ability to defend their client. We shared our findings with veteran criminal defense attorney Carl Lewis. Justice isn't blind there. Justice is peaking, and it's peaking in a way to say we're not going to provide information that will be helpful to the defense, and that hurts you. Now, one of the big questions is did the officers with records of dishonesty provide critical testimony in cases that could now be at risk? Every case that I have prosecuted, I am confident, had no Brady violation issues involved in them. How do you know that? Well, because I know every case that I've prosecuted. I deal with the police officers in those cases. Have you reviewed those cases since we've had our conversations? I have reviewed those cases. But Moser admitted he's only reviewed cases he personally prosecuted. Moser says his office will adopt the Brady guidelines used by Hamilton County Prosecutor Joe Dieters. Dieters' policy requires police departments to inform prosecutors of an officer's use of excessive force, untruthfulness, and misconduct as it relates to his or her duties as a law enforcement officer. I appreciate your investigation. I do understand where you have gone with that. It is one of the reasons why I am willing to expand what I am doing with respect to Brady. Moser attached his new policy with a letter to the police chiefs and sheriff in Butler County. It's going to make police officers more accountable and more aware of their responsibility to do the right things. This doesn't tell the whole story. One of Prosecutor Moser's letters was addressed to Hamilton Police Chief Craig Buchheit in October. Bukite told us he considered the case of Officer Ray Nickting closed. And we've moved on. Moser believes county prosecutors should share their Brady lists with each other. And this is one reason why. Former Colerain Township Sergeant Joe Redmond was put on the Hamilton County list, then got hired by the new Miami PD in Butler County, which doesn't have a list. Craig Cheatham, 9 on your side.